For 700 kilometers, this barrier divides Israel from the West Bank. Just a decade ago, it did not exist. But then, more than 1,000 Israelis died in the Second Intifada, many killed by suicide bombers. 4,000 Palestinians also died in the Second Intifada. Palestinians say this barrier being built by Israel to stop suicide bombers will hurt efforts to revive the Arab-Israeli peace effort. Just a few years ago, this was an open field. Now it looks more like an international border. This checkpoint is part of the West Bank barrier. It is only about 12 kilometers from the Mediterranean Sea, at Israel's narrowest point. Israelis say before this checkpoint was built, Palestinian suicide bombers could easily reach Israeli towns just a few minutes away. Captain Benji Rutland of the Israeli Defense Forces says at this location, there is no need for an 8-meter high concrete wall. Here the barrier is a fence, a high-tech fence. The dirt road is swept on a regular basis and it allows, if someone crosses it, for, for it to be detected, footprints, and uh, for it to be checked. Next to that you have an electronic fence. It's a sense which has a numerous electronic sensors and can detect if anyone touches it, moves it, etc. But there are video cameras which monitor and uh, are monitored from control rooms. Just on the other side of that checkpoint is Nebi Alice, a Palestinian village that is on the other side of the West Bank barrier. Because the village is so close to Israel's border, there are also checkpoints on the other side of the village. Many in Nebi Alice say they are now trapped between the West Bank barrier, which keeps them from traveling to Israel, and Israeli military checkpoints that keep them from traveling to nearby West Bank towns like Nablus. The Nebi Alice Pharmacy is the only place in this part of the West Bank where Palestinians can get any sort of medical advice. Shaza Hanoun and her mother have run the pharmacy for years. They say the West Bank barrier has had a negative impact on people's lives in Nebi Alice. She says a young boy recently died because he could not cross the West Bank barrier to receive medical treatment in Israel, something the residents of Nebi Alice were used to doing before the barrier was built. We have to bring a permission to get outside the wall at night. Imagine that time is so important and you want to call for uh, permissions at night. It's, uh, you know, ridiculous. Just a few kilometers from Nebi Alice is Alfi Manashi, a quiet Israeli town that has suffered several terrorist attacks in recent years. Alfi Manashi is one of several Israeli settlements that used to be in the West Bank but are now in Israel, inside the West Bank barrier. Israel has extended the barrier in some places as much as seven kilometers into the West Bank. One Israeli human rights group says 2,800 hectares or 7,000 acres of Palestinian land has been expropriated for construction of the barrier. At the Everything for the Home hardware store, Paz Moshe helps a customer. Like many who live in Alfi Menashe, he lived in fear for years of Palestinian terrorists who in recent years carried out three deadly attacks against people who live in Alfi Menashe. I'm hoping that in the future, in a couple of years, the wall, the wall it's the fence, it's eliminated and uh, be uh, an open space for all, all, all the people. But now it's necessary. Israelis across the country, from small towns like Alfi Menashe to here in Jerusalem, say the West Bank barrier has given them a sense of security they never had before. Still, the West Bank barrier divides neighbor from neighbor in Arab neighborhoods of the city, like this one in East Jerusalem, where many families have been divided by the barrier, a barrier that many believe will one day become a permanent border. Jim Teeple, VOA News, Jerusalem.